In this video, we'll be adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, like in the example shown below. So hello guys, and welcome to another video with Mathematics with Marlene. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and let's get started. So let's start with this example. And for the first example, we're going to use pictures just to visualize it for ourselves. So let's take two identical shapes. And the first shape, we need to divide into four equal pieces and we need to color in one of those pieces. And the second shape, we need to divide into two equal pieces, and we need to color in one of the two pieces. And now we need to add these two together. But how will we add these two together? The shapes aren't divided into exactly the same amount of equal pieces. The one is divided into four equal pieces, and the other one is divided into two equal pieces. So we're going to take the second shape and we're also going to divide it so it's in four equal pieces. So let's have our answer. We have an identical shape. We divide it into four equal pieces and we can see that we colored in one, two, three pieces all together. So our answer for one over four plus one over two is three over four. So let's write down how our fractions actually look like before we got the answer. So we have one that's colored in over four plus two colored in out of four. And then our answer is three over four. So in other words, when we are adding fractions, we want the denominators to be the same. Can you see that all the denominators are the same? And then your denominator in your answer is also going to be the same. But how did I go from a half to two over four? We multiplied the denominator by two to get a denominator of four. But you cannot only multiply the denominator by two. If you multiply the denominator by two, you also need to multiply the numerator by two. So then one times two will be two. So that's how you went from one over two to two over four. And when your denominators are equal, you can just add the numerators to get your answer. Now that was quite a lot of information. So let's make it simpler. Let's do a few more examples. Here we have two over 10 plus two over five. And remember, we need to make the denominators the same. So how will I make the denominators the same? I can multiply the five by two. And five times two is 10. But we cannot only multiply the denominator by two, we also need to multiply the numerator by two. And two times two is four. And now that our denominators are the same, we can add the numerators. So our denominator in the answer is also going to be 10. And two plus four is six. But remember, just as I said in the previous video, you cannot stop here. We always need to simplify our answers. It doesn't matter if you're adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing. And the question doesn't have to tell you to simplify it. You always need to simplify it. So how do I simplify six over 10? I get the greatest common factor for the six and the 10. And the factors for six is one, two, three, and six. And the factors for 10 is one, two, five, and 10. Now, what is the biggest, the greatest common factor between the six and the 10? It's the two. So we can go and divide the six and the 10 by two to get our final answer. And six divided by two is three, and 10 divided by two is five. So our final answer is three over five. Now let's go ahead and look at another example. So for this example, we have one over four plus two over three, and we need to get our denominators the same. But we cannot multiply four with anything to get three, and we cannot multiply three with anything to get four. So we need to find the lowest common multiple for four and three. And the lowest common multiple will be 12. So we can times four by three to get 12, and we can multiply three by four to get 12. And remember for the first fraction, when we multiply the denominator by three, we also need to multiply the numerator by three. And for the second fraction, when we multiply the denominator by four, we also need to multiply the numerator by four. 
So our denominator is going to be 12. And then for our first numerator, 1 times 3 is 3. And for the second numerator, 2 times 4 is 8. So now our denominators are the same, so we can add our fractions. So our denominator for the answer is also going to be 12. And for the numerator, 3 plus 8 is 11. And we cannot simplify 11 over 12 more, so this is our final answer. So now let's look at one subtraction example. When you subtract with unlike denominators, you're going to follow exactly the same step, but at the end, you're only going to subtract. So let's have a look. We need to make the denominators the same. So we can multiply the 3 by 2 to get 6. And remember, when we multiply the denominator by 2, we'll also need to multiply the numerator by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. And our numerator, 2 times 2 is 4. And now our denominators are the same, so we can go ahead and subtract the fractions. So our denominator and our answer is also going to be 6. And 5 minus 4 is 1, so our numerator will be 1. And that is our final answer, we cannot simplify it more. And remember, just like in all my other videos, there will be a free worksheet with a memo in the description box below. You can just click on the link and go and download it there. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.